Forget gurus. Forget anyone claiming to be an online business expert without going through the challenges of entrepreneurship themselves. The Real Money, Real Business podcast is here to prove the best insights in online business comes from your fellow online business builders. We dig into stories of entrepreneurs selling their business on the Empire Flippers marketplace so that you can learn how they made their business profitable, how they overcame obstacles, and what lessons they learned in their online journey. If you want to take your business and your knowledge to the next level, you've come to the right podcast. Let's get started. Hey everyone, Lauren here with another great business to discuss on this episode of the Real Money, Real Business podcast. Today's guest is Omi, and she's talking on behalf of the seller of an Amazon KDP business that's being sold on the Empire Flippers Marketplace. Welcome to the show, Omi. How are you doing today? Hi, I'm fine. I'm good today. Fantastic. Well, I'm really looking forward to learning more about this business. And thank you so much for taking the time to be on the show. But before we dive in, I'm going to go over a brief summary of the business. This is an Amazon KDP business created in August 2017 in the office supply niche. The average monthly revenue for the business is $2,759, and it makes an average of $2,700 per month in net profit. For everyone listening, you can visit empireflippers.com slash marketplace and search for listing number 58131 to learn more about the business. Or you can unlock this listing to start your due diligence if you're interested in purchasing this asset. The assets included in the sale are an Amazon KDP account with 800 books and two pen names. So now that we know more about the business, let's learn more about the seller. Omi, can you tell us a little bit about the seller's background in building and running online businesses? The background is about e-commerce. My aunt it started from 10 years ago because of she thinks the e-commerce about e-commerce is going to be a future. Like she thinks it can be go so far and can be grow up in this market. Yeah, absolutely. And she was definitely right. The market has definitely grown. Why did she choose an Amazon KDP business? Yes, because uh, the KDP business is not difficult to handle to the customer. Because before I do KDP business, I do seller of Amazon before, but it's a lot of problems such as delivery item or like a defect of uh, the products. Because it is a double niche, not a seasonal. We can like sell it whole year. So the topic is can go viral all the time and it's not a fast fashion or have to be sell only on Christmas, on Halloween or only on Valentine. Yeah, absolutely. That's a fantastic approach. As you say, it can be sold all year round. It sounds like you've really thought the business through. What is the reason that you're selling it now? Because lots of focus and I have more business, not only KDP. So I need to sell this business for someone that like can take care and can handle this. Yeah, someone who has the time to grow it further. It sounds like you've got a lot on your plate at the moment. Yeah, to like a manage or focus. And also I need like a... She needs an invest to go to do in another work, like a stock. I need this money to go to the investment also. Okay, wonderful. So it sounds like you've learned a lot running this KDP business. Is there anything you learned that you would apply to any future businesses that you work on? The quality is better than quantity. Absolutely. And the buyer of was I need to like a research and category and design. Yeah, that's a fantastic point. Absolutely. Was there anything, any experiences that you had running this business that didn't quite go according to plan? KDP is not have much issue, just aware only the copyright. Yeah, absolutely. That's a fantastic point. Copyright can definitely lead to a lot of problems. Do you do any marketing for the business currently? My book is organic marketing. Okay, wonderful. Yeah, it's about the keyword of Python and I think that keyword and category. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Organic is a very powerful source of traffic. So it's great that you managed to get that to work so well for you. If you were to keep the business, what are some of the ways that you would try and grow it further? I think I need to do more on book on the pen name that I sell and research more. Maybe like the same niche or different niche, but the same pen name. 
Okay, so growing the popular pen names further. Yes. Okay, perfect. So what sort of work do you do on this business every week? How many hours do you work on the business and what sort of tasks take up your time? She do on the work on two hours per day. Okay, wonderful. And how does she spend her time? Is she monitoring ad marketing campaigns or writing and ordering new books? Yes, yeah, sometimes I add more book. Also, I check the ranking. If like uh, the ranking is drop, I will like uh, maybe discount the price or something like that, but not much, not but touch on the business. Wonderful. Yeah, it sounds like it's quite a passive business that doesn't take up too much of your time. Yeah, someone is like a passive business. Okay, wonderful. So for the new buyer of the business, if they're not familiar with the KDP business model, what skills do you think they would need in order to run the business successfully? Yes, I think that needs to do more on the homework for the research and design. On the design of the covers? Yes, yes, and research. Okay, perfect. So what would you say are the biggest risks with this business that a buyer should be aware of? As I mentioned before, that KDB business is not take list. It's only take list is about copyright. Yeah, absolutely. So how much support would you be willing to offer the buyer of the business? Again, please. How much support are you willing to offer the buyer of the business to help ease the transition? Yeah, it can be email and Skype 30 days. 30 days. Okay, wonderful. And would you be open to negotiating something like an earnout? Yes, sure. Okay, wonderful. And would you be willing to commit to a non-compete agreement? Yes. Okay, great. So the last question of the interview, if you had to put yourself into the shoes of a buyer, why do you think your business is a business worth buying? Yes, because my business is organic marketing, don't have any advertisements, costs, and also passive income. Yeah, absolutely. Those are very strong selling points and definitely compelling reasons why buyers should be definitely interested in this business. Is there anything else that you'd like to share with our listeners that I might have missed? Don't have to have a lot of time, but we can still take care of this business, this account. Yeah, that's definitely a good point. It's definitely a passive business that doesn't require much time. Is there anything else that you'd like to share with our audience? To start a business is not hard that so everyone can start a business by something that you like so you can start with a little business and it can grow up more than you think yeah absolutely that's very true especially in the world of e-commerce yes wonderful well thank you so much for your time Shannon and Omi it's been really wonderful talking to you and learning more about this business okay thanks thank you All right, everyone, thanks for listening. To learn more and see if this listing has already been sold, head over to empireflippers.com slash marketplace and search for listing number 58131. If you're watching this on YouTube, click the link in the description to go straight to the listing. Once you've unlocked this listing, you'll be given everything you need to know about this business. So until next time, enjoy your digital journey.